One for the books. Yes. Awesome. Wow. 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 First family Wilson ski day all together on the Blue Run, baby. Woo! Hey, Trekker Tribe, get ready to feel the stoke because today we're talking about one of my all time favorite topics ski trips with my awesome young kids. If the thought of hitting the slopes with your little ones has ever felt daunting, I want to find her. I can't see her in this fog. Ay, ay, ay. Fear not. I'm here to share some tried and true tips that will transform your ski trip into a seamless, fun-filled adventure for the whole family. Now let's talk logistics. Skiing with young kids requires careful planning and preparation. From selecting the right gear to managing meal times and bathroom breaks, it's all about laying a solid foundation for a successful day on the mountain. Oh, really good. Woo. You really I have two sweet kids who jumped into skiing at the ripe old age of two with gusto. Good. You did it! Come, buddy. Good. Yes, yeah, good. But believe me, it hasn't all been smooth sailing and sunny slopes. Nope, we've encountered our fair share of tantrums and mistakes along the you way. You got it! Yeah, come. It's an owl. Come here, buddy. Okay, okay. So to save you from learning the hard way like I did, I'm sharing 10 invaluable lessons I've learned that could make or break your next ski outing. But before we start, I want to be fully transparent with you guys. My husband and I are snowboarders through and through. And I am the better snowboarder. Oh wait, we're not doing that here. Where was I? Oh yeah. So if you're expecting some in-depth ski technique tips, you might want to keep scrolling. Living in Switzerland means we're surrounded by ski experts. Yes, yes, good boy, <laughs> my guy. We've been fortunate to tap into their knowledge for the past five years and we are grateful for each and every one of them. If you're comfortable teaching your kids to ski yourself, that's fantastic. Nevertheless, there are plenty of ski day logistics that I've mastered through long and arduous trial and error, and I'm excited to share those with you. The tenth one might just surprise you. I've categorized these tips into three sections. Pre-slope setup, on-slope success, and after-slope enjoyment. Let's kick things off with our first tip in the pre-slope setup. Number one, before you even start to mentally pack for your ski adventure. Take a moment to ensure those funky ski boots and crazy gear fits just right. Somebody's skiing in the house again. Oh no, she's ready to go. Down the hill. Oh no. <laughs> Remember, these sensations might be new for the little ones, so getting them accustomed to the feeling before hitting the snow can be an absolute game changer. Now let's dive into dressing for success on the slopes. Ensuring your little ones are dressed appropriately is essential for a comfortable, enjoyable day out there. Layering is your secret weapon. And here's a trick that's worked wonders for me. Even before the kiddos are old enough to ski, layer them up and take them out in the cold while big brother or big sis hits the slopes. It gets them used to the sensations from a young age, setting them up for a snowy future success. Here's another golden tip. Pack a few extra clothes. I like to call it the save a ski bundle. Throw in some spare bottom layers, an extra pair of pants, and maybe even some additional socks just in case of a little accident. Let's face it, despite our best efforts, mishaps can happen. But with your trusty save a ski bundle, you can do a quick switcheroo and get back to the fun in no hey, time. Girl. Your little one won't feel as embarrassed and you won't have to cut the day short. It's a total win-win. Good turns, very good. Let's talk about the importance of something that gets overlooked, a good night's sleep. Trust me, nobody likes tackling tough stuff when they're tired. Ensure your little adventurers catch some quality Z's before hitting the slopes. Because let's face it, sleepy kids on the mountain can turn into grumpy monsters faster than you can say pizza, pizza, pizza pie. A well-rested child is a happy skier. 
So make sure they hit the hay early the night before for a day filled with smiles and snowy fun. Now for tips for the on-slope success. First and foremost, make sure those little tinkle tanks are empty before you start your lessons. Trust me, you don't want too many bathroom emergencies cutting into your slope time. And remember to schedule plenty of potty breaks throughout the day. Otherwise, this could be you. Okay, go slowly, hold your pee pee in, okay? Whether you're teaching your kids yourself or leaving it to the experts, skiing is all about patience, positivity, and lots of encouragement. Good job, sweetie. I'm so proud of you. Woo! Nice. Nice, buddy. <laughs> good job, dude. Good job, sweetie. Yo, good job, baby. Really good job. Woohoo! Good job, CD. Start with the basics and gradually introduce more challenging terrain as they gain yes. confidence. Good girl. And don't forget to celebrate the progress Woo! along the way. Good girl. Yes. Of course, no ski day would be considered a success without a few snack breaks to keep those energy levels up. Pack easy to eat snacks like granola bars or fruit to keep your little ones fueled and ready to conquer the mountain. <laughs> a quick refuel for both you and the kids can make all the difference when you're tackling the slopes with young kids in tow. Tip number eight. Now let's discuss headgear. Goggles or visor? It's entirely a matter of personal preference. When our kids were two and three, we tried goggles, but they ended up spending more time playing with them than skiing. So we made the switch to a helmet with a visor. Regardless of your choice between goggles or visor, safety always comes first. So please, don't forget your helmet. For our top gear recommendations, be sure to check out the links in the description below. As the day winds down, make sure to finish on a high note with some post-skiing fun. Whoa. You good? Whether it's sledding down snowy hills or indulging in some well-deserved hot chocolate. It's all about ending the day with smiles and warmth. Last but certainly not least, this one surprised me. Manage your expectations. Learning to ski takes time and consistency. Don't expect your kids to become experts in a day. Remember, patience, practice, and a positive attitude are the keys to progress on the slopes. Ski day! We are in the clouds, my family, huh? Look at this! Awesome! Wow! Wow, wow, wow! First Family Wilson Ski Day all together on the Blue Run, baby! Woo! Andermatt! One for the books, yes! If you like these tips, check out my video for beginner day hikers. Or if you love a good scenic vlog, I hiked up a mountain in Switzerland just for you. Thanks for watching, I'm Trekker Wilson. Stay safe, stay curious, and I'll see you down the road. <laughs>